Hey there, filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today, we got something new that you might have seen sprouting up all around the frozen food department uh, in most grocery stores. This is from a company called Boomerang's Handheld Aussie Pies. And this is going to be the steak and potato pie. So this is the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in stores. Hopefully yours isn't as beat up as ours is. It was in pristine shape when I first picked it up. We've got a lot of stuff down in the freezer right now. It kind of got, you know, a little costed down there. But as you can see there, yeah, handheld pie. It looks like a pot pie that you can, like, hold in your hand. You can see our uh, potatoes and uh, chunks of steak, some kind of gravy or sauce going on in there also. You get two in this box right here. You can see, you know, by the size of my hand how big this box is. So you can imagine two of those inside of here. All right. Back panel of the box, we got a picture of the dudes right there. Jack and Lance, these are the uh, the pie dudes. These are the guys that come up with it, and a little write-up on them. You can pause the screen and read that if you really need to know. Over here we got our nutrition facts, list of ingredients, a little advert action going on there. You actually see like the, the size of one in a person's hand, supposedly. That's their promise right there. Side panel, we've got our cooking instructions. Top and the bottom of the box, we've got adverts, and our entryway in is going to be a pull tab on a side panel. All right inside the box, you get two of these handheld Aussie pies. These in particular are the steak and potato variety, and you can see one of them has a sticker on there prompting us to go to their website where we can uh, win Aussie pies for a year. Hoorah! All right, you can see there's a, some sort of a seasoning going on on the top of these. You can see the thickness. I'm going to call it about two inches tall there. I don't know if there's going to be a, any expansion of this dough once it bakes in the oven, which is a uh, spoiler alert. That's how we're going to be doing this. Bottom, not a whole lot going on in the bottom of these. You know. Yeah, back to cooking. We've got uh, it breaks it down into best way, good way, and then quick way. The best way is to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for 28 minutes, which is how we're going to do it, because the good way has us microwaving it for two to three minutes, and then you still got to throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for five to ten minutes. So if I'm going to go ahead and heat the oven up to 400 degrees, I'm just going to go ahead and just rock it out the whole way. And then the quick way is the microwave for two to three minutes, and that just sounds sad. I right, said so before I go bake these, let me just point out real quick, this is they're claiming all natural, Beef uses no antibiotics or hormones ever, and they've even included the word ever. Uh, 380 calories per pie, and that's about it really. Our description says grilled all-natural steak raised without antibiotics or hormones, diced potatoes, onions mixed in a delicious gravy. So yeah, let's go bake these up, and we're going to come right back and see what we got. Stick around. Alright guys, we're back. We've got our Boomerang's Aussie handheld steak and potato pie out of the oven where it's been in there for a damn near half hour. Uh, we put it in there for about 27 minutes and it looks pretty much like what it shows on the box here except for the top didn't get all huffed up and crowned like that. You know, it stayed flat like we saw it fresh out of the box in its frozen state. Right now it's not giving off any aroma that would lead you to believe that there was steak and potatoes inside or even any kind of gravy or a sauce, anything like that. Uh, it just smells pretty much like uh, baked dough at this point. We didn't see any expansion of the dough whatsoever. It's still the exact same size that it was in, uh, when we saw it frozen before it went in. Even though it's supposed to be a handheld Aussie pie, uh, right now fresh out of the oven at 400 degrees, uh, it has had time to stand, but I think picking it up right now would be a horrible idea. So instead, I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to give you an up close and personal look, and we're just going to do everything like that. Um, we don't show bite marks on this show very often, so I'm just going to cut it open and show you all that uh, while you're down there looking at it. So let's do that now. Alright, so boom shakalaka, there you go. There is your Aussie handheld pie out of the oven, and that's what it's supposed to look like, right? Right? And that's what it is right there. As you can see, like I said, on the on the box it looks all huffed up and domed. And on here, it's still you know pretty flat looking. But overall, not too bad looking. So let's just grab this knife here, let's cut it in half and see what we got on the inside here. Alright. Spread this out. And there you go. Yeah, not a bad look. 
You see our chunk potatoes going on there. You see our chunks of meat. Yeah, not too scary. Uh, it looks like a lot of dough on the top there, though. Our crust. You see the thickness of everything there? And on the box here, it looks very thin. Like a skin. A skin of dough. But yeah, over here, very flaky. Very fluffy. Yeah, doesn't look that bad. All right, let's uh, go back up. I'm going to give this a taste, and we'll talk about it. Right now, just looking at it, it really looks like just a beef pot pie. Um, and it's supposed to be handheld. So I didn't go and grab a fork or anything. I'm just going to pick up a piece here. And this piece here, it's a smaller piece, but it's got a little bit of the beef and the potatoes there and the dough. I'm going to go in for a chomp at this. See what we got for our boomerangs handheld steak and potato Aussie pie down the hatch. All right, they're not fucking around with those onions either. They're not like little minced up pieces of onions. There's uh, chunks of onions in there. I would say they're every bit as big as the potatoes. Uh, the beef that's going on, it is like a, a chipped beef. I'm not going to say it's a fine like cut of chopped beef. It's like chipped. It's not ground, anything like that. The brown gravy is kind of nice. Um, I'm going to liken this somewhere to like the, uh, the brown gravy that's in Salisbury steak. That's what this comes across. Like the, It has the similar flavor. It's got a real strong herby flavor too. I don't know if that's just the seasoning that's across the top of it, but it's got like a, a real basil type of flavor, a little rosemary type of action going on there. Right now the texture on the potatoes is that of like a stewed potato. You know, something that had been like soaking like in a crock pot for hours. And that's also a similar kind of flavor that it has also. That of like a, a beef stew almost. Now the crust itself, I'd say it's very flaky, very messy. You know, like when you take a bite, it just like showers shit everywhere. You'd probably rather eat this with a fork and not handheld or you'll be wearing it. But there's a flavor also in that crust. Um, I would liken it to something like a, a baking butter. Not so much like a margarine or oleo kind of uh, taste, but like, um, yeah, like cooking butter. I mean, at a grocery store, they've got like butter, and then there's like specific packages that are just made for baking. To me, the crust has like a similar flavor to that. So that, that might be in the mix, maybe brushed on, not quite sure. Overall, it's not bad. I mean, you wouldn't see me desperately like plodding through grocery stores, you know, hunting for this. Um, it's not my go-to by any means, but it's pretty good. I I'm going to finish this most likely, and I say it's good enough for us to probably check out at least one other flavor from these guys, you know, to get a little deeper into their variety. So I'm going to give it a solid three out of five. All right, so there you have it, Boomerang's Handheld Steak and Potato Aussie Pie here on the GTM Show. I'm Mr. Dirty. Don't forget, you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at the Real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.